oh, I hope this helps somebody. I just want you to ask this question. Not to judge you. Not to condemn you. But to really ask you a serious question. For you that re reads the Bible all the time, prays all the time, knows the Bible very well, does all kinds of things for God, preaches the gospel, casts out demon, heals the sick, feeds the poor, does all these things for God, reads the Bible all the time, prays all the time. I just want to ask you, do you have peace in your heart? Do you have true joy unspeakable that you can't describe? You're smiling. And you don't know why. You're laughing. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding. You're not worried about anything that's going on in your life. You're really not. You got craziness going on right now, bro. Your finances are messed up. You're in debt. You're not sure about certain situations. I don't know what's going on. Physical issues, spiritual issues, whatever it is. But you have peace. You have joy daily. You're not worried about it. You've truly cast your cares upon God. You're walking in his word. You have true peace. You don't have anxiety. You might have different moments where your emotions might try to get the best of you or the devil tries to come after you, but you have true peace, true joy. For you who are doing all kinds of things, for you that is reading all the time, maybe in a routine every day, do your devotional every day, all kinds of things, right? For the Lord. But do you really have peace? Do you really have joy? If you don't, and you're trying to get more peace, and get more joy, and get more love of God, and the presence of God, by doing certain things, and doing more Bible, and doing more prayer, Trying to get closer to God like that. I'm not saying that those things aren't good. But if you're doing things for God. And doing things to get more of his presence. You have missed it my friend. See God already gave us everything that we need when he died on the cross we inherited his inheritance joy unspeakable have you experienced that peace that surpasses all understanding have you felt that the weight of it have you felt the presence of God on a daily basis to where you can literally feel his spirit every day, his peace, his joy. Peace that surpasses under all understanding, joy unspeakable. Are you walking in that? Do you feel that? People say, oh, it's not about a feeling. I'll tell you what, when you feel the spirit of God, you'll chase it like never before. Because you'll want more and more of it. When you feel his presence, his love. See, all you have to do is ask for it. It's not about you doing more for God. You're not earning more of the Spirit of God or earning being closer to Him. You're just walking in His presence. You know, there's a lot of people that are walking in the power of God that don't read their Bibles that much, that don't pray that much. Oh, I know that's controversial. I'm stepping on a lot of toes. Especially a lot of religious people. But are you really walking in peace and enjoy every day? Or do you feel like you have to do 
a certain thing every day for God or to get closer to God in order to experience more of his presence. It's just about, it's about your heart, man. It's about expressing that you want more of an intimacy and a closeness to him. You don't have to do as much as you think you need to do. You don't have to read a certain amount every day and pray a certain amount every day. That's what religious people do. That's what a lot of different religions do. Oh, pray three times a day. Pray five times a day. Make sure I read at least one, two, three, four, five pages of Bible a day. You're trying to earn God's spirit. God doesn't operate like that. He operates by the condition of your heart. All you have to do is ask him for more of his presence. That's all you have to do, brother. That's all you have to do, sister. Like I said, I did not make this video to judge you or to condemn you. I made this video to help you get free from that religious spirit that's been taught to you and that's been sown in your heart for so long. Break free. The truth shall set you free, my brother, my sister. And once you feel his peace and you feel his joy, even as you're watching this video, for those that are being set free right now, you can feel his power and his peace and his joy more than you've ever felt it before right now. I know some of you will feel his spirit right now, his peace and his glory to you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, for those of you that are feeling this right now, as this, as you're listening to me, know that it has nothing to do with me. It's his Holy Spirit setting you free right now in Jesus' name. He's setting you free. Now, hold on to this in Jesus' name. Thank God for it right now. Thank Jesus for it right now. And... You can walk in this daily. You wake up and ask him to go with you during the day and to give you more of a spirit constantly and to be able to feel his presence and ask him for more peace, more joy, to be able to walk in that on a daily basis, and he'll give it to you. Now, as soon as you feel anything other than peace or joy, say, I rebuke anything that's trying to come against my peace and my joy. John 10, verse 10. The devil just comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He wants to steal your peace, kill your peace, destroy your peace, your joy. The presence of the love of God that's trying to walk with you like he walked with Adam and Eve. The voice of God walked with them. Now we have the Holy Spirit, something better, who lives inside of us. Ask God to baptize you in his spirit. And to walk with you daily and he shall. You'll feel the glory of God like you've never felt before. Just like you feel his presence right now. And when anything tries to come against your mind or your heart, rebuke it in Jesus' name. Say, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Peace is my portion. Joy is my portion. And just simply trust God. This thing is so simple, y'all. Walking in the spirit of God and the intimacy Talk sweetly to God and watch how much more of his spirit you'll feel. Just love him. Say, God, I want more of your spirit. I want to feel your peace, your joy, your presence, your glory all the time. God, I want to, I want to feel that. I want to walk in it in Jesus' name. I want to abide in it. And I trust you, God. You're sweet. You're like honey on my lips. You're like sugar to my soul. That's how you get more, God. Conditioning your heart, coming before him in humility and in desire, in sincerity of desire for more of him. And he shall shower you with his presence continually. There's not a formula to get more of the Spirit of God or to stay in his presence. You're expressing your desire to him daily, and he's giving you more peace and more joy in anything that comes against your mind or your heart. You're saying, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. That's how simple this is. Plead the blood over yourself in Jesus' name. Ask for the blood of Jesus over yourself and your family. Trust him with the rest. That's it.